Okay, so it is no exaggeration to suggest that Manchester United's match on Saturday with Bournemouth is one of the most important matches of the season. A win and we will be three points off a top four finish and Champions League football next season. So with that in mind, let's get into the preview. Okay, so neither team are in particularly good form going into this match. Now, Bournemouth, they've kept themselves up. They will not be getting relegated. So they kind of have been on all day in the last two matches. They lost against Chelsea and against Crystal Palace. Meanwhile, for United, of course, we managed to win 2-0 against Wolves last time out. That was a big result. We needed to stop that losing run. We needed to pick up three points. We did just that without Marcus Rashford. Now that he will be back for this match, there can be no excuses. We must go out and beat Bournemouth. If we do that, we put ourselves in a very, very strong position to finish in the top four. A win on Saturday will mean that we are only three points off guaranteeing Champions League football. Now looking at our budget for next season, in terms of our transfer window coming up, we're looking at between 100 150 million pounds. We cannot have that reduced by missing out on Champions League football. We need every penny we can to invest into this team, get a top level striker, four midfielders, a new goalkeeper, perhaps another defender. That's what we have to do. The next couple of matches are absolutely crucial and will really define what we can do in this summer transfer window. So with that in mind, let's have a look at how the teams will line up in this one. De Gea will continue in goal of course he faced no shot the last match no shots on target at least let's hope for something similar in this one moving into right back I think we'll go for Diogo Dalot centre backs Moran and Lindelof and Luke Shaw will be at left back we need Dalot we need Luke Shaw to progress the ball well in this match Bournemouth they do not hold too much of the ball they are definitely more of a counter-attacking counter-pressing team averaging around 40% possession per match we will have the majority of the ball it's down to us to get the most out of it moving into midfield i think it'll be a pretty obvious pick of casemiro ericsson and bruno fernandez casemiro with a week's rest was a lot better against wolves than he has been in recent weeks ericsson bruno their creativity will be very important in this one but we will have to look out for the physicality of bournemouth now jefferson lerma philip billing they're both very strong Midfield players and Philip Billing, especially this season, has scored quite a few goals for Bournemouth, seven in total. So a big job up for Casemiro in this one and keeping him quiet. Moving into the forward line, I think I think it will be Anthony off that right hand side. Had a very good match against Wolves, very involved, got his assist, could and should have scored in that match as well. Anthony Martial will be through the middle, and Marcus Rashford comes in on the left wing. So when it comes to looking at our key player in this match, it is hard to argue against Marcus Rashford. And last time out against Bournemouth in a 3-0 win at Old Trafford, Rashford, Luke Shaw, they were very, very impressive in that one. And they managed to link up very nicely on that left-hand side, create a lot of chances, for some goals. And ultimately, they will be my key players in this one. Shaw's progression will be essential, and Marcus Rashford needs to get that 30th goal of the season we cannot be finishing on 29 let's get him to a nice round 30 let's get a couple of goals in this one when we look at how Bournemouth will play they will sit back they will try to be compact and they will allow United to have some of the possession Gary O'Neill he's done a very good job orchestrating Bournemouth's counter press especially through the likes of Jefferson Lerma, Philip Billing and Dominic Solanke they have some very big strong physical players who are very very good in terms of their pressing work and certainly Bournemouth, they will be a threat in this one, make no mistake about it. But what we have to hope for is that they are still on holiday mode, that they're already on the beach with their with their shorts on, their sunglasses and some sun cream, relaxing and looking forward to another season of Premier League football. I don't expect Bournemouth to come out all guns blazing. I think if we cool and score one or two goals, I think that will be game set and match in this one. So with that in mind, let's have a look at the tactical battle in this match. Okay, so as discussed, Bournemouth have definitely been a very surprising team in the last couple of months. Certainly a team a lot of people thought were going to go down. Gary O'Neill has done a fantastic job as Bournemouth manager so far this season, keeping them up in the Premier League for another season. Real highlights of the season definitely include bidding Liverpool for Bournemouth, and they do have a bit of a tendency to go up against big teams and do quite well, beating Spurs as well. Certainly their physicality helps sitting back and being organized and counter pressing when appropriate can hurt teams and united need to watch out for that something we have struggled all season with is distribution playing out of the back our build-up structure is very very poor 
Bournemouth certainly could exploit that in this match. What we have to do is be tidy in possession, work it through into Eriksen and Bruno Fernandes, let them create some opportunities. Let's hope that Martial, Anthony and Marcus Rashford make things happen at the other end of the pitch. Now Neto is in very good form this season, certainly in terms of the stats, Bournemouth's highest rated player, but I think we can and will win this match if we go and roll possession, tidy on the ball, make some opportunities, for some gold certainly we can win this match so with that in mind time for some predictions i'm gonna go for a 2-0 win to manchester united goal scorers marcus rashford bruno fernandez our two best attacking players all season so that's my thoughts guys let me know your thoughts in the comments as always don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you guys are new i will see you after the match for a live reaction as well so see you guys then thank you very much for watching